Hey Del Campo, today we are going to be talking about what we need to do today, this weekend, and on Monday during uh, our homeroom where we schedule our flexes. So first I'm going to talk about planning for next week. I think this is something that most of us have down. Second, requesting students. So if over the weekend or before Monday you want to request some students to stay with you during one of your decal times or priority periods, how to do that. I'm going to talk about taking attendance. Most of you have that figured out. And then uh, let's just double check. Uh, let me know if you have any problems. All right, so let me get out of this screen. I figured out is that FlexiSketch seems to run a little faster on Firefox than it does Chrome, so it's been a little bit less buggy. Uh, remember, you go to Del Campo dot flexisketch dot net. I'm going to sign in with Google and there we go. So as I said first thing that we're going to talk about is planning for next week. So you go to your plan. I'm going to click on the little pencil right here and the greens what's happening right now later on this afternoon uh, we should see new dates up here. This should be the 31st. This should be the 28th. So I'm going to work on setting that and resetting that this afternoon. So I'm taking a look, make sure I have everything set up. I am actually going to get rid of these for Tuesday and Wednesday because I am going to be the troubleshooting room on Tuesday and Wednesday. Well, that's good to know. All right. And since I'm not going to be doing that, I'm going to have my conferencing with students. Kind of like my priority period on this day. All right. So I'm going to go down and make sure I remember to save. And that's going to roll over till tomorrow. Second on the list is requesting students. So to request students, you're going to go to your schedule area and I can type in the name of a student I'm looking for. So I'm just going to pick Smith and nothing popped up there. Let's try down here. Here, there's got to be a Smith. Let's do Diller. I see that. Harley Diller. So I'm going to say I need them in my Flex class. Click on Schedule. And I'm going to pull them out of Elaine's because I've talked with Elaine. Or maybe this is, oh, well, it's their priority. So I can't take them out of that. So I need to find a different one. So let me close. And I'm going to choose a different t student. Uh, L. All right. Beals. So I'm going to look at his. And it says student enrolled in English 3 can come work. All right. So this is a voluntary thing. So that's good. I can schedule to see this person. So I'm going to go to uh, my name, item. And I'm going to do a teacher request. So I click teacher request right there. And I'm going to save that. And now when I look at Gabe, he's got a little check mark that indicates teacher request. So if I'm scheduling for my priority period, that's one way to do is go by student from student. Another way is to do the group list. Right now we're having a little bit of problems with groups. So I'm not going to show you that right now. I'm trying again still to get that fixed. If you are trying to schedule your like fourth period, you want to see your fourth period kids that have less than B's or something like that, you can go through, find each one of them, and a tongue tied. So you can go to select those priority period kids. You can search for each kid that's in your class by searching up here, John, and it'll find them. Or you can create a group. And again, that's going to come later. We'll work on that. 
last thing I'm going to show you is taking attendance. Uh, to take attendance, you need to do that during your decal time. And you do that in the attendance menu. So I'll go back to the beginning. I go to attendance. And I'm going to go for Friday here. And if I have some students that are scheduled for me on Friday, they are going to show up. So 824, I click display. And I do have some. And uh, these were by teacher requests. Uh, Riley Burns said signed up for this. Uh, but didn't show up, I mark her absent. All right, pretty easy. And I'm going to go ahead, scroll down to the bottom, and click Submit. Make sure you do that. Again, you want to try and get this done at the beginning of the period, just like any other sort of attendance taken. But if you don't, you have until uh, noon to get that done. All right. So let me just write that in here. So taking attendance should be done by noon. But please do before the end of decal. I guess this should say must because that's when we reset the system. All right. Again, your planning for the next week, that can happen at any time. Requesting for students, if you want to do that before they start taking, uh, before the students start registering on Monday, that would be done by 9.15. So try and do by 9.15. And then also you can request students later after they have gone ahead and signed up but you'll want to communicate with them tell them in person call them up send them an email and then the other thing go ahead double check that things are working for you if you're having problems let me know uh, appreciate it much hope this was uh, helpful and again, come see me, come see Mrs. Gavant anytime. Thank you. Bye.